ask you about this issue of blood type. Could blood type, you think, be a factor in your immunity to the coronavirus? There was a study from 23andMe. We talked about it earlier this week. People with O blood type, they say, 9 to 18% less likely to contract it. What do you make of that, the blood type story? Yeah, so it's interesting. Blood type, this is not. This is actually not the first time we've seen blood type being implicated in terms of a coronavirus and coronavirus risk. Uh, there was a, I'm sure there's been a multitude of studies, but one uh, was published uh, that got a lot of play a couple of months ago uh, with type A blood type being associated with a greater risk. And, and that's kind of what we're seeing here again. Type A uh, has been associated with a higher risk for respiratory failure. Uh, and I think that's what you're referring to. You know, again, this is not necessarily a new concept. This is not definitive. How However, and I think that's one thing we have to keep in mind. This is sort of adding to our yeah. fund of knowledge about coronavirus in general and how blood type and genetics yeah. may play a role. So it's going to be really interesting to see really how this how this sort of shakes out. It is. Oh, the whole Cassoni family is looking at their blood types this week. That already happened. Jennifer, thank you very much. Dr. Jennifer Cottle, appreciate it.